everybody before we get into this morning's update i'd like to go over a quick overview of what's transpiring and give a little education this morning so first xrp sits at 0.4682 as we know xrp must hold the 457 level or it's going to drop down to that inverted head and shoulders at 44 cents the neckline and then we would decide from there if we're going to reject at 457 and fall 18 percent or if this area can hold and push us up 22 percent so we're going to see on the charts today exactly what i'm speaking of also i want to go over a quick breakdown here and i did this on the live yesterday but it was like 45 minutes into it so i'm assuming not many seen it so money versus currency so to me cryptocurrency is a form of money not currency crypto we can send to any other country just like gold and silver so i equate um crypto like gold and silver not for store of value but as money for the fact that i can send money from the usa to singapore to india to japan to china and when i sell out or go into my native fiat just like if i brought a bar of gold or silver and gold coins over there a bar of silver or some physical metals or precious metals i could convert it into the native fiat from wherever i'm at currently that's the same thing with crypto no matter how much crypto you hold the moment you sell it you can turn it into the native fiat which to me makes it a money a money just like gold and silver the fact that i could convert my us dollar into the yuan just by selling crypto out in japan or china and turn it into their native fiat tells me it's money a currency can only be used on your native soil the only reason the us dollar is more of a universal um kind of currency is because of the u.s or uh, it converts into the petrodollar well that's only going to happen for so long as there's things going on behind the scenes so crypto gold and silver precious metals equal money u.s dollar the yuan your native currency your native fiat is a currency that's there's a big difference so the best friend to crypto is gold and silver so if you're up significant amounts of money and you're not looking to reinvest into another crypto during the same bull run, you're gonna invest it into gold and silver when it has its downturns as a store of value. So that money can never be lost. That money's gonna sit there for all eternity. It's something you don't touch. That becomes your savings. And then when you have rises on crypto, that's how you continue to advance. Make sure you hit that like button as it will greatly help push me through the analytics. And we're gonna get into the charts right after this. Good morning, 9.56 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Saturday, July 8th, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So as we can see, XRP is still down by about a quarter of a percent, well, about 0.10%. But XLM and DGB have reversed a little bit here. So let's take a quick look here. XLM, no, that's not the chart we need for XLM. We have held the 951 support. But we're going to need to pull this chart out for XLM. We're trying to hold the golden cross here in the daily time frame. And this is where you would have your biggest bullish bounce if we could hold here. We needed to hold a 947 and we've held so far. Now it's our job to stay on top of 972 and then push our way up to the resistance on this formation at 1064. If we get rejected there, it's going to be a big problem. But this still looks like a bull flag. Bull flag, golden cross, that's a bullish formation despite the way that it looks. And you could get a technical breakout here if we were to break to the top side and you could be pushing back up towards that 1920 cents but that's a break to the top side a break to the bottom side and we're looking at three and a half cents so just pay attention to that with xlm uh dgb up 2.09 well actually it's not 2.09 percent it is actually i guess it is 2.37 percent on the day so DGB is having a nice little reversal here. We're kind of in a descending formation here. Um, we've had a bullish cross here in the daily. Uh, it's about to be confirmed here four hourly. We're trying to hold the support. This is tricky. 747 underneath support, but we've got to hold the eight cent level to continue pushing up. We've got over the top at 989, but we still have a little bit of resistance in between there as well. 
We've got the 8.7 major resistance that we keep getting rejected on and a technical breakout on DGB could get you up towards the 1.1 one, one level, but that's if it can break all the way to the top of breakdown. We've already got it measured out at 0, 0, 0, 0.00187, so that's a substantial fall if we were to break down. But as of right now, it's kind of putting in a bull flag here. If this, if this were to play out, this W reverse one actually push up, you're looking at a pretty substantial gain. Conversely, a very substantial drop, catastrophic one would say. <clears throat> and then XRP. <clears throat> XRP still got this bear flag. So a lot of the market's putting in bull flags in the short term, not XRP. Unless you look at the 30 minute, it still looks bad. So the four hourly, here's the biggest problem with XRP. If we get rejected on the four hourly at 473, now it's come down overnight to 471, which we've already hit there a couple times in different uh, charts. But if we get rejected here at 471, which came down from 473, we've already had the bears cross in the daily, and that would confirm the higher time frame. So rejection in the four hour time frame, that's gonna confirm that death cross and the reversal on the four hourly. And then this uh, bearish cross on the daily is gonna play true. And if XRP does do this, the logical play here would be, it's gonna come down to the inverted head and shoulders at 44 cents after breaking this formation at 457. Then it'll probably consolidate back up to the between the 457 and 462, depending on which area it hits on the bottom side of the formation. And then a rejection there would be catastrophic. You come through the 44 cent inverted head and shoulders neckline, get a rejection, and that's how you come all the way down to that 37 cents, which is better than an 18% drop. But that's to be determined because we have not lost this formation yet on this ascending pattern. Well, you could say it's a descending pattern, but the ascending support. Um, until this breaks down, we can't rule out the fact that it could come back up for a triple top right around the 558 level. So pay attention to that this morning, and then Bitcoin, and then I'm going to let you go. Bitcoin sits right at 30,216 right now, still on top of the bull flag formation. We did not lose the daily support, but in the four hourly, we had a bearish cross. So, and then we got rejected underneath. So now the problem is, is we're for the first time underneath this, uh, practically underneath, as we talked about the 30,250 yesterday, we're underneath the bull flag pattern. And if this breaks down, we know the technical target on the way up is 35,054, but if we break back down below the CME gap and the channel outbreak or the channel breakout, that's going to put us back at a technical target of 25,194. So just pay very close attention to that. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. If you got anything out of this update, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel and joining the almost 16,700 subscribers. And if you're looking for a way to trade XRP in the USA with no KYC, very low spot fees, and even withdraw up to $50,000 a day without the KYC. And it's Web3 enabled and up to date with the US tax code. It's FEMEX. It's in the video description below and or pinned comments. So is, um, oh, and you can future trade up to 100X longer or shorting the market, which I don't advise that. But if you that's your forte, so be it. And then also you can join Tom's Army there. Pay attention to the charts because it's very, very volatile today. And I'll be back shortly.